hey guys Ujwal here and today I'm gonna show you how to jump start your car and also to make a DIY jumper cable at home so here you can see I'm trying to crank the engine but the instrument cluster isn't showing anything whatsoever which means the battery is dead in this vehicle and that's the only reason we are trying to jump start the car so let's just get dive into it So all you need is a 2.5 mm copper wire, a wire stripper and some cloth hanging clips and also a car with a good battery. So first of all we will make two pairs of 2.5 mm copper wire with a length of 5 feet each which means you need 20 feet wire and you just tape them together like this now we'll strip the edges of the wire like so and afterwards we'll strip the wire at one inch from the ends nicely remove the insulation from here as we have to wind them together from here so we are doing this so that uh, if any of the two connections are loose the current should be flowing from the both wires so that uh, the current which is as high as 200 amps should be flowing from two wires not through only one so now we'll do it for all the four wires and then tape the connections nicely so that to avoid any unnecessary touch with the body so now we'll start the second car with a good battery and take it near to the dead battery then pop the hood of the car so now we'll take the black wire first and connect it to the negative cable of a good battery which is right here and make sure to have a good connection in in that so now I'll take the red wire and tape its one end so that to avoid any contact with the chassis and which can cause any type of short circuit. The other end goes to the positive terminal of the good battery which is here. So you can identify the positive and the negative terminal with the red wires going to the positive and the black wire goes to the negative. So now we'll move to the bad battery here and we'll take the red wire and tape its end and then connect it to the positive terminal of the bad battery and make sure to avoid any type of contact with the chassis which may cause a short circuit now we have to find a good gro grounding point which is here a bolt which is directly connected to the chassis and it's a good gro grounding point so now We'll start the car up with a good battery and then connect the negative cable to the grounding point which is this bolt and make sure to have a good connection on both sides. Now we have to test the setup and here you can see all the lights are glowing which means it have a battery power and the engine is started and running smoothly as you can see and here i'm trying to wrap the engine which makes it uh, much smoother so now we need to unplug the connection so start with the negative which is connected to the grounding point and then the positive from the bad battery and avoid to have any type of contact with these wires so now we'll remove the negative and then the positive from the good battery so here you can see the engine is running at its own and it's perfectly fine but the reason behind this discharge battery is a bad alternator in this engine which is unable to charge the battery so there's a video coming up on the alternator as well so if you like, like this video give it a like a comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll meet you guys in the next one
थैंक यू बाय वेट सो यू मस्ट बी पुटिंग दिस जम्पर केबल इन टू द बूट ऑफ अ कार सो दैट यू कैन हेल्प एनी वन एट एनी प्लेस ऑन द गो सो थैंक यू एंड बाय अगेन